What if we get evade on a rogue? Because he gets bonus to stacked um, attributes. And it's pretty significant. Let's give it a shot. Alright, hold up. No shields. So the way the rogue works, every time you kill something, you get a little trinket, a trophy, and it goes in this bag. And every time you go past the camp, you trade all of that shit in. So it gets really strong every loop, but um, you kind of have to wait for it all to happen. You'll see, it'll make sense soon. It must smell horrible, the trophy bag. <laughs> the, the trophy bag, yeah. Probably does. Yeah, the first go around we're gonna be pretty weak. Hold up, does a vampire spawn on every tile that something else spawns on? Shit, maybe I placed that in the wrong place then. Okay, good to know. Oh, I wanted to save the mountains. That's okay. We're good. Although we could use that to our advantage. Maybe get decent loots. Loads of trophies. Yeah, we got 14. So that's another problem, actually, believe it or not. Because when we pass go and collect our $200, um, you know, if we've got 14 and it's traded one for one or whatever, these are going to fill up and we're going to lose some just by, just by default, which kind of sucks a little bit. Sure do, awesome, yes, yes, sure do. Okay. Or, alternatively, the number of t um, trophies we trade in, maybe that gives us better equipment. I don't know. Evasion, evasion. Critical damage, 32%. Critical damage on armor as well. Okay. We could stack critical damage, I guess. Four to six, seven, eleven. 10 to 16 with evasion on top. Very nice. We could go evasion later. For now, let's just focus on dealing that DPS. If you dual wield axes, does that change your class into a berserker? Nope. <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs>
Yeah, Pagrax, that, um... Oh, damn, I should have done that. Didn't even realize that was an option. That option, uh, that setting is in... The language screen. Language select if you want to change the font. Got some big hits here. Pretty good. Yeah, just keep insta killing. That's what we want to see. God, you have to give you ridiculously lucky to get um hey look our ruins. I was gonna say have to be ridiculously lucky to get rocks, but here we are. a random resource shard upon visit all spawns a scorch worm every two days put you right here hey shub how you doing man Fifty percent chance to steal a resource shard from an enemy whilst parrying. The pockets resource cap in the expedition is increased by fifty. We roll. Just because you played eighteen hours of this does not make you an expert. So any advice you provide is at will. Yeah. Lethal weakness. Every 10% of lost HP gives you a half percent chance to instantly deal 1,000 damage. Master of fencing. 10% chance to simultaneously attack two targets. After losing 20% of max HP in battle, the hero will evade all attacks for two seconds. to go and summon this the, the bats or whatever they are hey there's that village okay do we chance rolling two villages two two vampire villages at the same time Shub, there's so much to unlock. I doubt I'm going to spoil much if you do stick around, dude. That second village could be the end, though. Ah, screw it. And a bandit camp? Uh-oh. Immediate regrets? I mean, not really going to make that much of a difference, is it? I want to see what this scorch worm looks like.
All right, let's see what's up. Level five boots. Evasion and evasion bonus. That's 24% evade on boots alone. Yeah, we'll take that, huh? Now, if we go all in on evasion, let's have a look. Our current evasion is 18%. That's coming from 13% here. And f five from me? Oh no, there it is. Okay, so that's... So that's 18. Don't we get an extra 10% though? Evasion. 40%. Pretty sick, man. Alright, what else we got? 8 to 12 damage. 7 to 11. A bit disappointing on the weapon side of things. Alright, 8 to 12 is an upgraded axe. The best we can do there. There. More evasion. So it should be an extra 8. We lose counter here. Nope, straight to 53. I don't know why, but we now evade every second shot. Alright, we keep going. Hey, look at that. We just we just earned some knowledge. Some knowledge. And I don't know if you noticed, but there's an additional You got 31, 4. That's your shards, your primary, and then whatever this is. Chests? Something else here. Oh my god, could you imagine if you evade you counter? Holy shit. That would make us god tier. Yeah, this is gonna be a rough fight. I take it back. Sixty-eight percent. Holy shit. I gotta be careful with placing here. bats, man. Just a suggestion. Maybe hit the, uh, the vampire first. More ruins? Cool. 
More knowledge. Lantern, probably a good idea that we drop one of them in here. Yes. Um, battlefield. Yes. Ruins. Oh, look, there's a couple of them. Gee, I hope they're not strong. Rock. Mountain. 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 Okay. Careful, buddy. You're taking a bit of damage now. Gee, the items better be good, huh? Deep pockets. Resource cap in the expedition is increased by 50%. Blissful ignorance deals a full hand of oblivion cards. From now on, using oblivion heals hero by 10% of his max HP. Marauder. Fighting against three or more enemies will grant you an additional trophy. you imagine if we could do that like retaliate all right so we do have another village do we want to make the third vampire village this is suicide and i kind of dig it Now, I need to get rid of the vampire house altogether. Be the best thing to do. damage 17 to 25 22 to 32 oof you'll have the iron you need if I make it back so we're going to be losing some evasion here it seems huh of a bad roll. Seventeen to twenty-five. Yeah, I gotta do it.
My evasion has dropped to 24 right now. I'm not even getting... Interesting, I'm not even getting items from the chests. I thought that's what happened there. Maybe not. Whoa, what is that? Why did that have an entirely different screen? That was madness. Oh god, here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of room here, unfortunately. Um... Consider finishing the vault? No. No, that's a waste of resources. Or more to the point, waste of space. God, we hit hard though. So here's the thing, I could technically get rid of this now, the vampire house. Blooming meadows next to chrono crystals. It doubles the HP per day or they produce, right. Yeah, somebody suggested that uh, earlier, Lucius. See how I do on this fight before I get rid of the vampires. Now there's my second treasury. HP do I have? 600. Got another ruins. I'm just going to keep placing them. We'll get all the knowledge we can get. new armor, isn't it? Counter and evasion. Yeah, it's just not that good. The village. All right. 
right, we've got one house up. I have 33, 34 trophies right now. We're, we're earning so many trophies, it's ridiculous. 36, that'll be 37, 38. Unreal. Another blood grove. About to get some orange items. So this is this is where we'll see the true nature of how the how the uh, the rogue works. If we do get like a massive boost from that, um, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Just having a little bit of trouble hitting stuff. That's all. No big deal. The road lantern. Hmm. Don't you die, son. I'll be a little bit annoyed. We got 41 so far. It's gonna be this is gonna be pretty epic. Forty-five, here we go. A little bit of an upgrade. Fifteen percent evasion chance. Crit chance, thirteen percent. Now let's see what else we got. Magic damage defense. Damage to all defense. Pretty average stuff, man. Attack speed counter. Defense, magic damage, 9. 26 to 34. Major one, but it's an upgrade. What's our evasion at right now? 24. This will drop it by what? 9? But give us critical damage chance, which is pretty awesome. Okay. I expected more, game. I expected more. That's got eight on it as well. I wonder if that stacks. 33% chance for critical increase. It, will, it does stack.
My offense is amazing. Just as long as I make contact, yes. God, I wish I could get rid of this crap. I'm gonna put, just move all the, the stuff we don't want down here. Do we want another village? How many have we got? We've got three. That'll be another bandit camp if that's the case. Let's get rid of, um, yeah, I think, yeah, you, and then we'll put you here, right next door, huh, there. Playing rogue, you don't get bandits. Oh, for real? Nice. That is pretty cool. Just hang in there, buddy. thinking the goblin camp might be a good thing to get rid of. If you remove a village from a bandit camp? No, nothing. Nothing. Uh, once things are placed on the board, they don't disappear. They can only change into other things, but then not everything does that either. Here, this is what I was talking about. What is this? Why is this here? Why is there a two in? Am I fighting five right now? Two ranged and one up close? Because that's fucking horrible. Did I experience swamp goblins? No. Range from another tile. No shit. Okay, now I think I know what we're going to destroy. Didn't mean to do that. Please hold. Alright. Pickpocket. 50% chance to steal a resource shard from an enemy whilst parrying. Surveyor. Blissful ignorance. yet. Take Surveyor then. going to be interesting. We have currently 155 health. Jesus. Yeah, we're in a bit of trouble. Yeah, without I think we got unlucky with our loot rolls there, so not much I can do about it. attack any other adjacent oh my god that's awful it's 
Stack armor, what for health? It's good heal. Perfect timing. Finally, we get another one. Thank you. Uh, we'll just go all in with rocks here, I think. It's fine. There's a new item. Another village. Very true. Uh, why do I want to close it up? That's okay. Three is three is enough. Too bad. Oh, we got another battlefield though. Send it. Yeah, I think we're gonna get rid of these worm things. They're a pain, dude. Barely worth having. Goblins are hurting, for Man! Sixteen to twenty-four. I'll take that. Come on, just hit them. We're gonna make it, chat. It's gonna be close. I might even bail. Jesus. <laughs> Let's put that up so I don't mess it up if we do make it that far. And in fact, we'll drop this rock. Right there. Another battlefield. Road lantern. We left a bed behind. Oak bed. Plus one HP for passing the campfire, but maximum HP is lowered by 2% from the base amount. Use the skull. Is that worth taking? Well, the bed wasn't very good um, because it does lower your max HP by the looks of it. Not by a lot. Plus 1% HP for passing the campfire, but max HP is lowered by 2% from the base amount. Whatever. Furniture. I actually want to make more stuff. Like, yes, we could upgrade. What is this? Field kitchen.
craft. We can make... We can make two items. That's a forester's axe. Every time the hero receives stable branches, he has a 10% chance of receiving more. Another farmer's scythe. Aha! We already have one of them. So I'm guessing we can't use two. Let's see, actually. See if that's a thing. So our current... What does this do? 5% chance to receive one ration. 3% of all damage becomes damage to all. Alright, let's see if we can stack more than one. Yeah, we kinda can. 